this is the mooring spot we stayed in overnight. It's just outside of um, Weston Lock. I want to say it's Weston. Tickety boos in front of us. This is quite a good mooring spot. It seems quite quiet, no one really about. So it's just outside Leicester in the canal. And it's near Weston Lock between here and I can't remember what the next one is. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna move on, get going, and then try and get to Kilby Bridge so we can empty out all of our toilets, get some water, do all that stuff. Yeah. These guys, um, Doug lent a key to in Lesson Marina, we've just met them again, so it was quite nice. Doug was like, hey! Uh, they've just bought their first boat too. And yeah, so we're gonna try and get to Kilby Bridge. Was, I think it's only like an hour and a half, two hours. But with us, maybe two and a half. <laughs> um, yeah, last night we literally just got in and crashed once we've moored up because we've been travelling for ages. We left at like eight. Half eight? We left at eight and we got here at six. Yeah, it's a big day. Big day. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. <laughs> so used to rivers and like flowing water that the canal is so different. It's so different and the fact that there's positives and negatives. It's very still but equally there is there's not a lot of depth so our heavy boat just sort of drags a little bit. Yeah and like obviously there's more stuff in it but it doesn't move because there's no like current really so it just sits there. Um, but yeah very different. It's pretty. Apparently it's really shallow. So that didn't sound good. A lot of sticks. Yeah. There's a bridge. Four bridges. Next lock. 96A. Can you try that again? <laughs> we were going to wait for Diane and Dave, but they've said to carry on, which we're very sad about. Now we've got to do it all by ourselves. <laughs> so, yeah, we're sad about Diane and Dave not joining us today. We'll see them later, um, partly because they're lovely, but also, oh, look at that sun. Ooh, oh, basking. Um, but also because every lock we got to, because we we're slower than them, they had already set it, it was ready to go, one gate was closed, all we had to do was pull in and go up and move on. Um, we slowed them down by about half hour each lock, but they were very lovely about it and we were very thankful. So if you're watching, Dave and Diane, thank you very much. Here they come. Doug's gone down the weed hat, so we were able to pause. That's what we need. <laughs> yeah. Stealth mode. Activated. No gate paddles. You're looking very cool. I have to say. The glasses, the hat. You're rocking it. Oh, guys. <laughs> so apparently we're just coming up to our first aqueduct. The aqueduct was there. <laughs> it was over like a... It was over a... I didn't even realise. <laughs> I was like, that's it! Aqueduct. He's like, no, it's not. And I was like, yeah, and then the, the lock come up. <laughs> it was so small. Right, lock time. So we're a bit all over the place today. Um, I think Sage, we did, because we did 10 hours yesterday cruising, Sage just, she did so well, bless her. She didn't moan once, she didn't cry, she didn't do anything. Um, but I think today she's kind of, She's like, I gave you a day. <laughs> um, so it's a bit harder today. Um, we thought we'd left the windlass at the previous lock, but we have, luckily. How's that work then? Oh, there's a card reader. There's no card reader in there. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! 
I'm getting clean today. Women's toilets, men's toilet. I'm going to get the toilet. Have fun. Luxury. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Just finished filling the water. We're now going to move um, the boat over. Oh, Doug's in the way. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> we might be able to just push ourselves over. Do you reckon? I reckon we give it a go. I'm going to go to the other end anyway and get the engine ready so that we can start it if we need to. But if I get the pole. What, you want to punt it over? Yeah. I reckon we can. I, I reckon a push will be enough. Okay. Let me go the other end. All right. Um, we'll see how we go. Um, it's raining, so we're kind of glad we can stay here for 48 hours, but we think we're going to move on tomorrow anyway. So, um, yeah, Sage needs to go down for a nap, so it's a good time to stop. And, yeah, she needs lunch. All those things. Woo! Hello there, then. Doug ran to the back very quickly. Oh no. We left the book outside. I thought we pulled it in. So did I. It's only a few pages, we're just never allowed to come back here again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try and dry it out. Um, Should I start the engine first? Yeah. Where do you, what do you think I should do? Push you that way? No, no, we go straight across. Okay. So you push back and I'll push the back. You push back. It's just got to be the same. What should I do? Should I go round? What? No, no, you just jump on. Push it down. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Didn't work, guys. <laughs> we didn't think it would. It's quite far. heading into town we're gonna to go to Sainsbury's there's a big one in Wigston which is it's about a 30 minute walk feels like about an hour and a half no it doesn't <laughs> I don't even finish my it's coffee I think because most of the places we've been to have had zero hills suddenly we've got hills <laughs> it's true it's not very hell. <laughs> um yeah we're gonna go and get some food for dinner and then probably retire for the evening. Get some hot showers. Oh yeah, we can go to the um, facilities across the bridge and have a hot shower. It's the first one we've been to that's had got a shower, isn't it? It is the first one. But still no recycling. No recycling. <laughs> Someone likes privacy and spiders. <laughs> There's a house with a hedge that we've never seen so high. It's like, as tall as the house. It's as tall as the house. They're just never going to get any sunlight in there. Ah. Should I put you in? Ready? We're going to pass this tarpaulin onto its owner if we can find them. Okay, so you actually joined us the next day. We had some family over, so we wanted to have a quiet morning. Um, and we were on our way, and then someone said, lots of debris is in the canal, and there is an untied boat. CRT are trying to get it out. So we ventured up, grabbed the tarpaulin that was across the canal, and went to go help CRT. We're just gonna try and hook up that boat and pull it in. He's gonna jump on. The guy from CRT had been trying to get the boat for about 45 minutes, apparently just kept floating away from him. But he was actually really thankful for the help. The rest of the footage is actually filmed by our nephew, Harrison. Thank you, Harrison, for getting it all on camera. Um, we said we'd do a shout out, he has a lovely YouTube if you want to go check it out, it's on the screen now. So of course in the process of helping another boat we get stuck, so we get that stick out and start pushing away from the side. It's just not budging so we need reinforcements. Doug jumps off the side to really put his back into it and get it off. It's pretty stuck. We didn't actually realise how much we were rocking the boat. It's pretty scary when you watch it from this side, um, but we managed to finally get free and start moving to help the other boat. So 
so now the real task begins and that is getting this boat we had no real plan we were just going to move the boat towards it and let the guy from crt do his thing These boats are actually pretty light, so Doug was able to kind of grab it, walk it up the boat, and then both of them were kind of moving, with the help of me at the back, moving it towards the land, and eventually we got it in. So there's the boat. Hello. And then there's the other boat. The other boat that we saved. And now it's it. My own thing. Emily, bucket. So that concludes part two of going through Leicester. We have loved it. We made some lovely friends and saved a boat. And we are now heading through our first tunnel, which is very exciting. And then we head towards Market Harbour. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you very much for all of your generosity giving us coffees because they are well and truly needed right now. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much and we'll see you then.